Item number four, which is a little bit of a controversial one, is this guy here, the Intel 14900K. Now, I recently actually built another PC for our editor number two, and it's running this exact CPU, which is the 14900K. And if you're a PC enthusiast, you know what's been happening with Intel and you're thinking, why on earth would you be doing that? Now, the thing is, all of these issues are actually solved now through BIOS update. In terms of best bang for buck, the 14900K actually outperforms the 285K, the new version of this chip. The new version of the chip, really, there's, there's nothing that really you need if you are a video editing and you want a workstation. This 14900K is just fantastic. Now, you might be saying, why not go with the AMD? Now, I've got nothing against AMD, and AMD is, is great. The 9950X is an amazing CPU, and a lot of CPU tasks outperforms the 14900K. But in a video editing workflow where you want the fastest, workflow and you want to get the fastest playback speed Intel QuickSync there's nothing that can replace Intel QuickSync that's why that 14900k has a special kind of place in um, our workflow here because it still works I've got both of the editors on 3900k and 14900k and it just chews through everything that we need to use it for it's fantastic in 